Though previously we uh, finished, uh, well, I shouldn't say finished, we did entirely the uh, Mechanical Age, and so got the pages back, and so now we're going to be moving on to Channelwood, my favorite age of this game. Uh, each of the different worlds is called an age in this series. Uh, so this is the place we have to go for Channelwood. Uh, hint, it's called Channelwood, and there's a tree. Uh, but no, uh, so <laughs> bad puns aside, uh, let's actually deal with the tower rotation. Channelwood. Now, uh, Channelwood's deal is... It's a lot more complicated than the Mechanical Age. Uh, I'll, again, if you want to read this book, you can just pause it. Pause the video. Colorful text. So, uh, yeah, you can do that, but let's actually look at the key. Stuck on walls. Uh, fun fact: uh, the sequence here, here in the elevator actually does change. You turn significantly more for Channelwood than you did for the Mechanical Age. It's kind of an interesting tidbit. Here. We're staring at a big tree. Hmm. What could that ever mean? Seven, two, four. So that's the combination for the uh, safe. Oops. But let's not do that. Okay, I'm recording. Wasn't sure if it was actually recording or not. Anyway. Let's uh, go down and enter 724. Must always say it like that. And we'll go to Channelwood. Uh, actually, we will probably get Channelwood and Stone Ship done in this, uh, this episode. Stone ship's a uh, yeah. Like this first game is is not that large of a game. So first part we only got one age done, but that's because we had a ton of intro stuff. So yeah. so let's just enter in seven two four. And we get matches. Uh, we put the matches down here. And now we turn this wheel. Uh, let's actually make it easily more visible. What is that sound? Let's go to this tree. Oh, what is this madness? So shall we enter the tree? We seem to just be going really high. Yeah, th this is kind of a weird puzzle. But it's interesting. So, if you look down here, hmm, that wasn't that wise. Kind of just stuck up here. So, there's this button here. What could this button possibly do? Uh, this button basically is like, hey, you messed up. So, it just takes you back down to ground floor. The actual solution to this puzzle is to not do this. So, you exit here, and the actual answer is wait for it to go up a little bit, and then you just turn off the pressure you enter and go down. 
uh, hitting this button if you're going down does nothing. So you just go down into the depths. And there's another dial to get out. So fancy music, and here we've got the book for channel light. My favorite age. It's also really loud. So yeah, the channel wood is a really awesome and really loud age. It's got a lot of ambient noises though. So we've got these things on the ground, these... Well, I know what they are, but you probably don't. So you got that thing there. Let's just explore this age a little bit. We've got this thing here. It does nothing. Don't know what it does. Well, again, you don't. We've got this... Yeah, nothing visibly here. So it's just a bunch of wooden pathways. There's there's stuff up there, but don't know how to get to it yet. At least you don't. Got some pumps everywhere. Got whatever this thing is over here. Looks like there's a pipe. Except it can't connect. You have to be on that side. There looks like what's an elevator over there. No clue how to get there. Looks like there's another elevator over here. Again, have no clue how to get there. Like, we can enter the elevator, but the elevator does nothing. Good elevator, good elevator. So you'll soon discover that you can't really do anything. Yet. Like, you can go over here, but... This door is locked. So nothing really to do except go up to this weird windmill thing. And if you read the book, you'll probably understand what you're supposed to be doing. So you got this hose that snakes all the way around and stuff. Got this building here. Got this thing here. This, this weird machine. Whatever could this be? Well, let's hit that. Hmm, I hear water flowing. Maybe this is a generator. Hint, hint, it's a generator. So now we've got water flowing along the pipes. So, uh, hmm, let's try hitting this switch. You can still hear the water sound. The store's still locked. Hmm, this machine's making a humming sound. Let's go over here. Hmm, strange, you don't hear the water sound anymore. Uh, you hit this. No water sound over here, yeah. Uh, th this switch controls the direction the water's flowing. So... What we could do is direct the water to go to that elevator. So let's do that. So the water should be flowing to this elevator now. Actually, if you look here, the water's just kind of loosely coming out of this pipe. I like this. There's just water coming out of the pipe randomly. Choppy graphics, but hey, what do you expect? It's the 1990s. Also, I'm gonna pause recording here because the phone is going off. Let's just make sure we're recording. Okay, yeah, we are. Uh, so. Yeah, we directed the water to go to this elevator. Come on, go to the elevator. So we've got this wooden elevator that apparently the monkey people builds or something, I don't know. I think that's what the book says. I haven't read the book in a while. Sell the books. Not only just what they say, but basically, the elevator takes us up here. We can hit that switch again to go down. And we hear ambient wind noises. So we've got a bunch of pathways and stuff. Let's just go up here. And it's a dead end. Good, good. Yes. Yeah. I like this. They put a lot of detail into just making it look good. For example, that hut over there, it's just ambient. It doesn't really have a real purpose. Stuff like that. Anyway, so let's go over here. Now here we have a split path. Oh boy. Uh, let's go here. Let's just follow this path. Here, there's nothing here. Although, we can look at that beautiful render distance. Look, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Poof. 
and things just render out of nowhere. Beautiful. Let's so just, just go in here. Through these pathways, through the huts. We've got some sort of hut over there. Let's just go over here, maybe. And hey, look, we're over here. Except the store's locked too. Oh no, what are we ever going to do? We can try and read this elevator. Except the elevator, as you guessed it, doesn't have power. Nothing happens. So whatever could we do? Well, let's explore more. That's the actual answer. Uh, let's go over here, where we... Yeah, that's where we had that split path. Quotes. So we could just go over here, yeah. Things just loop around a bit up here. But we're actually supposed to, uh... Go here. And go here. Because strangely enough, over here, we've got this weird thing. And if, if we pull this lever... It opens that door. I don't know why. If we really wanted to, we could close the door again, but we want the door open. So, let's keep it open. So, let's just meander, wander. We can see over there another building, another elevator. Oh, we pick up here. But we, and by we I mean you, don't know what's in there. Regardless, let's uh, head over here. Because this is the important part. We... Ah, I get seasick. Yeah, you can. It's kind of weird. Going up and down this place. But yeah, uh, let, let's not do that any more than we have to. Uh, now that we've got this door open, let's redirect the water flow over here. By simply hitting that. Now the elevator is stuck up there, but we don't need the elevator anymore, because we've got this! Who wouldn't want this? Yeah, yeah, I agree, it's kind of nauseating. But whatever. Now that we've directed the water flow here, this elevator works. And we can go up even higher! Uh, this is the main goal of the whole, uh, area, because up here is where we get the pages. So let's just go over here. Eh, simple, simple rum. With more. Is that poison or alcohol? We've got a sword that's bent out of shape. We have a white thing. Vault access. Very plain view of mist. First locate switches on the island. Switches. Yeah, this is actually a. Uh, this that is actually very important. Uh, a very important paper. So keep what it says in mind. But we actually need to go here and we find the red page. So yeah, this is the red page actually. So yeah, it looks like it's just expensive wines, not poison. Looks like some sort of fancy cake, maybe. A fancy sword. Just fancy stuff. This is actually rather simplistic room for a red page area, but eh. Now we've got our red page, let's just exit this area. And now we can work on the puzzle on getting back. It's not really a puzzle, but we still need to be able to get back. So let's just go down the sickening staircase again. And the answer is actually we need to redirect more water. Who would have thought? It has to do with that, uh... It actually doesn't matter which path we take, so let's just direct this one. Because why not? Let's direct the water over here. Water goes through here. And we need to direct the water here. So that when we pull on this, what 
magic is this? By magic, I mean a, a bridge appearing out of the water. Uh, we can pull this again, I think. And the bridge will go down. Will it? The bridge does go down, right? Now I'm actually curious. Can I possibly pull that switch while standing on the bridge? And, like, glitch out the game? I'm gonna test this. But first, I'm gonna save. Just in case things go AWOL. Uh, something tells me that they thought of that. That's why they made the cutscene and stuff. Yeah, no. Can't. Good to know. Let's just load this. Okay, maybe... N never mind. I thought loading would be faster. So anyway, let's uh, go over here. Now we can access that, uh, that uh, elevator, but you guessed it, it's got no power. By power, I mean water. So let's just go over here and we've got this weird dial. Whoa! Pipe out of nowhere. Now again, you can turn both ways. That's what I like about this thing. You can do something and you can undo something. Even if you aren't supposed to. Like, there we want the pipe to be fully extended. In fact, there's never time when we don't want that. But anyway, now that we've got that, we can redirect the water flow there. With that pipe. switches. Switch. Flip the switch. So now we can access the elevator. Also like how this age just has nothing beyond these trees and stuff. Like, no, not even more decorative trees over there. It's just white fog. Yeah. This game does that. Oh, well. Now we can go up here. Okay, never mind. I got it wrong. Uh. That's not good. This is the fastest you can walk, by the way. You can move with and turn. You can move with your, the forward arrow key. Or with clicking on the left and mouse button, and if you do both, you do go twice as fast. Uh, okay, that's why. I didn't flip this switch. Flip the wrong switch. Kind of a little confusing. But now we should be able to uh, go up the elevator. the hum of the, uh, generator. I'm not sure how these elevators work, but hey, they do, so don't question it. Now, fortunately for us, this elevator does reset if we go back into, uh, Mist Island. So, let's actually do that. That elevator is the only thing that resets, though. So, we can get back out. Game developers thought of that. So let's just put the red page in the red book and see what this guy, Cirrus, has to say now. Have returned. Let's actually turn him up a little bit. So we've got, uh, he's like, two more pages. So yeah, uh, we have the red page. Uh, let's actually go and get the blue page now.
It's a bit of a trek. And I'm not gonna get it out. Okay, now we can start chewing it down. Doors all have to close. So yeah, back down in uh, Chandler Wood. Yeah, it looked like so. It looked like Cyrus was just saying the same things he did last time, except a lot more clear. You could understand him more. <laughs> so let's go grab our blue page. Go up the elevator, gone. Now this blue page area. Channel, but it's kind of interesting. Now, if you read the books, you'll actually know that this is where Sirius and Agna actually, uh, actually lived, like in these rooms and stuff. I'm going the wrong way. So these are actually their rooms, apparently. When they lived in the sage with their father, so that's kind of an interesting detail they added. They added in and stuff. Lots of detail in this game, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so now let's go over here. We've got this weird room here. We've got this door here that we can shut. And then automatically open. We've got this thing here. Wow, Whatever that meant. Got some sort of... Is that a torch chamber? Don't know what these are. Weirdness. Just a bunch of weird things. Let's exit this room. Oh, the door pushed me. So let's just go here and... Stuff. Nothing really interesting here. We've got the blue page on the ground, though. So, interesting fact, uh, this building is really weird, and I don't know why, but there's actually a second door. It's, it's just a weird building. So let's just see what this guy has to say, now that we can understand him better. Okay, fine, never mind. He doesn't want to show his face again. I don't know why there's... Go through the door. I don't know why there's two doors there. No, I did actually want to go through this door. So let's see what this guy says. I hope I... First, let's turn it up a little bit. Crystal light button. Very interesting device. I'm not erasing anything important, am I? <laughs> he is prepared. Remember, take only one page. So that was interesting. Not sure what that was all about. So like only take one page, I guess it's the game telling you you can only take one page at a time. Except, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I think that was actually a Cirrus on there. The, and that was Agnaz room, so it's, it's, it's just weird sometimes. Let's turn the volume back down, actually. Let's get out of channel. And then 
then we might call it an episode. Probably will actually, since this episode, this world takes a while. Stone Ship Age doesn't take a long time, but. See, the elevator came back down. It's handy. So let's just go back to Mr. Island and give Agna his blue pay. Basically the same thing as Cirrus. Two more pages. So, uh... How long has this video been running for? Let's tab out. Uh, 26 minutes. Okay then. So... Yeah, I guess we'll call it an episode then. 